sound. The high quality and expressive PA4X sounds are the basis of the styles and the keyboard sets. These sounds are also used when creating and playing MIDI sequences. In this chapter, we'll look at the sounds in depth. When the instrument is first turned on, the factory default style is Chicago Blues, and the keyboard set is already set up with a stereo piano sound across the whole range of the keyboard. To select a different sound, touch the upper one area in the upper right corner of the screen containing the name of the current sound, Concert Grand. Touch any sound on the screen to select the sound you want. Eight sounds are displayed at a time, and you can access more sounds by touching the tabs along the bottom. The sounds are grouped in categories, which can be selected using the tabs on the left and right. Additional sounds can be accessed with the tabs along the top. Legacy accesses sounds from previous Korg PA series instruments. GMXG accesses the general MIDI and XG sounds. By the way, in some cases there may be more than six tabs of sounds in a particular category. If so, these arrow buttons navigate back and forth between the available tabs. Go to the Factory tab, select Brass category, and touch Big Band Brass 1. With many sounds in the PA4X, vibrato is added by either pushing the joystick forward or using aftertouch, pressing on the key after the note is played. With some sounds, the ribbon controller and joystick minus Y will also affect the sound. Go to the sax category, tenor sax DN1. Defined nuance control is the ability to control several nuances of the instruments. In this example, if you press switch 1, then play a note, you get a glissando up to the note. After playing and holding a note, press switch 1, release the note, and you get a fall off the note. Switch 2, the joystick, even how you play the keyboard, for example legato, will add nuances that bring life and realism to the sound. Sounds with this type of control always have DNC, DN1, or DN2 in the name. Go to the organ category. There are several sampled organ sounds in a variety of different drawbar settings. But the PA4X also features a special drawbar sound that emulates the classic tone wheel organ, allowing you to get your own drawbar settings. Select Drawbars, and use the sliders on the left to adjust the drawbars. You can save your edited digital drawbar sound into one of the keyboard set library locations. We'll look at that in a moment. There's a rotary speaker effect on this organ as well as many of the other organ sounds. Pushing the joystick forward changes the speed. No need to hold it. In fact, the PA4X has a huge library of effects like chorus, reverb, etc. that can be used to enhance the keyboard and accompaniment tracks. Effects will be explained in detail in the effects chapter. Press exit. You can have up to three sounds in the upper range and one sound in the lower. Let's combine some sounds. For the upper one sound, from the Piano category, select Concert Grand. Press Exit. Notice that the screen shows that Upper 2 and 3 are muted. Touch here to unmute Upper 2. You can also use these dedicated buttons to mute and unmute the parts of the keyboard set. Unmute Upper 3. The buttons above open the sound selection window for each of the keyboard set parts. Okay, now press the split button and the three upper sounds are above the split point and you now have access to the lower sound. The split point is set in global mode, but you can temporarily override this. Hold down the split button until this appears on the screen. Now play the note where you want the new split to be. This new split point will be kept until you choose a new style, songbook entry, or a new keyboard set. Let's make some more changes. You can quickly bring all the upper sounds down one octave by pressing the upper octave minus button. Let's adjust the level of upper 3. Touch the volume tab to display and adjust the volumes. Touch in the upper 3 volume area. Now open the page menu. We can save the keyboard set we've edited to one of the keyboard set library locations. 
For now, touch anywhere outside of the page menu to make it disappear, and let's take a closer look at keyboard sets. It's important to understand the difference between a sound and a keyboard set. Go to Sound Mode. Touch the sound name and you'll see all the different sounds grouped together in instrument families. These sounds are used individually or combined together for your keyboard sets like we did earlier. We used a sound from the piano category for upper one, a sound from the strings category for upper two, etc. Go back to style play mode. Sometimes your keyboard set might be a layer of three sounds on the top, plus a sound in the lower. Or two sounds in the upper, no sound in the lower. Or simply one sound across the whole keyboard. However you set it up, what sounds you are using, the split point, the levels, panning, effects, etc., it can be saved and recalled from the keyboard set library. On the right, there are 12 keyboard set library buttons. By the way, you'll notice it says set list here because these buttons are used for a different function when using set list. This will be covered in the songbook chapter. So these buttons open up a selection of keyboard sets that you can choose from the display. These tabs take you to more groups of eight. You can also repeatedly press the keyboard set library buttons to advance through the tabs. We're on the factory tab. The user tab is where you access your edited keyboard sets. This grayed out tab, Direct, is where you can access keyboard sets directly from USB media connected to the PA4X without having to load them into internal memory. From the page menu, select Direct Preferences. Select the media containing the .set file with the user keyboard sets you want to directly access. Touch the file, then select. The Direct tab is now available. Press Exit. Press the My Setting button. This button accesses your most favorite keyboard set and is the first one selected when you turn on the PA4X. It's currently a stereo piano across the whole keyboard, but you can set it to be whatever you like to use the most. That might be a layer of electric piano and strings, a split of bass and organ, etc. It's a fast and easy way to jump to your favorite setting while performing. To save your favorite keyboard set or any edits you've done to My Setting, hold down the My Setting button until the right screen appears. Touching OK on the screen would continue the right process and write over the current setting. For now, touch Cancel to keep the original My Setting unchanged. Instead of saving to My Setting, you can save to one of the keyboard set locations by holding down any keyboard set library button. Then use the screen to name it and to select where you want to save it. Press Exit. By the way, these three switches can be assigned to different functions. Once you find the best use of the switches for your musical needs, save that along with your favorite keyboard set into My Setting. When you turn on the PA4X, My Setting is the first keyboard set loaded in, so your switch assignment will always be as you want them. That switch assignment will be kept as you change to another keyboard set because assignable switch lock is on by default but this can be unlocked in global so you can have different switch functions for each keyboard set. Specific editing of the sounds is done in sound mode. By pressing menu, you can go deep into the sound and change specific parameters. Press exit. From the top page, you can make basic changes to the sound using the real-time controls on the screen. Any edits you make can be saved to the user area. In the next chapter, we'll look at styles where you'll see that sounds are also used by the different tracks of the style accompaniment. For example, the bass track might use a synth bass sound, another track might use an electric piano sound, etc. So basically, the keyboard sets and style tracks are all accessing the same library of sounds inside your PA4X. And there are hundreds of sounds to choose from, so the possibilities are endless.